Hi Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 11th through February the 12th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 11th through February the 12th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 11th through February the 12th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 11th through February the 12th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Aries. I appreciate you guys. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups. For Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging trying to numb out. Now Aries, you can tell me that you're getting your wish concerning some type of news concerning children here. I hope you're not overindulging trying to numb out because of children here. You could also tell me that you're getting your wish because you're apologizing, you guys are reuniting, or they're apologizing to you and you guys are reuniting. Hmm. Could also tell me that you're overindulging trying to numb out because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love with someone from their past who isn't you, or it was something that happened in the past. We'll see. You have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aries could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star. For Aries, clarify the star for Aries. It is clarified with the Two of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. 
We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Aries, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. So you can tell me that you're getting your wish, wish with your soulmate. You guys are reuniting, Aries. Or you're telling me that maybe you're needing to heal from this soulmate connection. I don't know. It just seems good so far. Huh. Aries, you have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Aries, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords by Aries. Clarify the Eight of Swords by Aries. Clarify the Eight of Swords by Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Aries, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Aries, you can tell me you're stuck on whether or not to receive this offer or you're stuck on whether or not to come in with this offer. Unless this offer is coming from someone else, but your wish is to reunite with your soulmate, someone from your past here, Aries? Aries, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag. But you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance by Aries. Clarified temperance by Aries. Clarified temperance by Aries. It is clarified with the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Aries, you can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Oh, excuse me. Oh, bless me, too. Oh. Or you're telling me that juggling was taking place here, Aries. I don't know. You could be weighing things up here, Aries. Some type of compromise or negotiations here. Maybe you're debating on you should just be patient. You should be debating on whether or not you want to heal things with this person. Is it two people here? Someone that is maybe offering you, Aries? But maybe someone else that is your actual wish, someone from your past here. So are you in a place of like limbo? Hmm. Aries, you have the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aries, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords by Aries. Clarify the Nine of Swords by Aries. Clarify the Nine of Swords by Aries. It is clarified with the star again. 
could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, wish, wish. You can tell me that you're following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Cups again. OMG, Aries. You can tell me you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. It's a wish attached to children. It's a wish attached to someone from your past. It's a wish attached to your soulmate here. Twin flame soulmate energy here. But you're stuck on whether to offer or to accept here. Unless there's two people. Maybe this is about healing something with someone you're already with. And you're debating it because it's about where you want to be. This wish, someone from your past who is your soulmate here. It has you up in your head, Aries, stuck, mentally stuck on what you want to do here. Aries. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. This is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you. It says pressure cooker rage ready to explode. Pressure cooker rage ready to explode. And, and in this instance, I feel like you're ready to explode because it's somewhere you want to be. It's someone you want to be with. But you're in a kind of a stuck situation here. What else for Aries? It's your absolute wish, your absolute dream here to be with this person, Aries. And it says drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Hmm. Is that what you're in your head about? Like I said, I feel like you're... You're going to have to make a decision about somebody that you're currently with because something is pulling you towards your past. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 11th through February the 12th. 2024 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal maj m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace